Hello everyone and welcome back to Brick Country. Mason here. So today in this video, we're going to be starting a long awaited project of mine. I'm going to be starting my very first mock building series. I can't wait to get started. So the plan as of right now is to do a monthly upload of this mock building series. So once a month, you'll have an update of how the progress is coming. But don't worry, I'm still going to do weekly awesome Lego videos about various projects in my Lego city, Lego room, Lego collection, just more fun Lego stuff, but that will stay weekly. But the mock series will be monthly. So the mock, I'm very excited to announce this, the mock we're going to be doing is Kashyyyk from Revenge of the Sith, the scene with Order 66, just an iconic Star Wars scene. I can't wait to work on trying to capture it with the jungle and the beach. I feel like it's going to be a really cool project to tackle. And my plan is to not do a large scale mock for my first mock series. I'm planning on using a gray one, one and a half base plate by one and a half base plate on one of the base plates. And I will do it on that as a basically upscaled diorama which I think will be really cool because I can pour a lot of parts into that and make it look really detailed because I don't have the space or parts to do a large scale mock as of right now. So I think this will be a really fun way to do a smaller, more detailed mock. Now, obviously the scene is based off the scene of Revenge of the Sith where the clones and Wookiees fight against the Separatists. So that's gonna be the majority of the build, a little bit of the jungle. But I'm also gonna have the treehouse hut up in the tree where, uh, Yoda and Order 66 was declared, and Yoda obviously defeats the clones. So I'm going to have a little bit of that scene represented up top, and the battlefield below. This is going to be a really fun project. Obviously, I'm basing it heavily off the movie, but I'm also taking a lot of inspiration from Solid Brick Studios' build, where he built a massive Kashyyyk build. If you haven't seen his channel or that build, I highly recommend both. He's a very talented creator and mock builder, and... I'm very excited to get started in my own mock series here in March of 2024. And without further ado, let's get started with episode one of Lego Kashyyyk. So I got out one of my gray base plates and I, I've just started laying plate, kind of getting a rough idea. I don't have one more of these, but here are two 16 by 16 gray plates. And this mainly is going to be the forest area of Kashyyyk. And I'm working on the beach right now. I just finished stacking all of these two by uh, two by one, or sorry, one by two trans blue bricks on their side. And I have surrounded them in brick and use these curve plates to give the curved shoreline effect. And I think it's looking really good. I also added a black brick border, which I will continue around the entire mock to give it a more diorama feel instead of it looking just like a mills plate raised exposed bricks and stuff like that because as much as I would love to do like a full scale giant Kashyyyk mock I don't have the space or the parts to do that so my plan is to do a it's kind of big but diorama feel of Kashyyyk let's move on to the next step so I finished millsing the base and started using these olive green wedge plates or angled plates to kind of trace out the forest grass line as well as the path. I don't know about this transition yet. I might have to add different plates to give it some depth effect, but I'm leaving that as is for now. I wanna work on the forest floor next. I've already trialed with some techniques over here. I use the rest of these olive plates. We'll also be ordering some more soon. Um, to fill in this and I have put some of these olive stems and I have a good few more of those So my plan is just to fill this area up a lot I might add a tree kind of coming up here kind of overshadowing the pathway a little bit and My plan as of right now is to have the main tree in this area right here having the platform where order 66 is declared with command degree and Yoda up here overlooking the battlefield. What I'm thinking about though is whether or not I should try to include one of the Kashyyyk cloned vehicles like the AT AP Walker. I know I can't include a turbo tank, so I'm trying to decide if the AT AP Walker would fit over here if I need to invest in getting one of those because I do not own one yet. But would it fit in this area and I scrap the tree design and have it menacingly coming out of the forest? Or do I 
um, use this area for more vegetation and minifig details. Comment down below what you think. And back here in this gray area, I'm planning on having a section of rock face coming up probably about this tall, about top of the screen as you can see now. And having the main tree that I was saying Yoda's platform is going to be on kind of edging up the side of the tree for more support because I don't think I could build a big enough platform with only that much tree trunk space. So my plan is to build it almost touching the rock wall and kind of curving up it for added support. I think this project is going very well so far, but for now, let's finish working on the forest floor over here right now. There we go. That's better. So I ended up doing a lot more of the groundwork than I had originally expected because I decided to use my dark green angle plates and tiles and plates to fill in back here to give a more depth to the jungle effect. Whereas over here, I exhausted my supply of the olive wedge plates, as I was saying earlier, but I was able to finish it with the help of dark green and I filled it in with these tree branch elements in dark green as well to give a more grassy effect and some nice bush elements. I used a lot of these olive stems as you can see through here to make it really dense and I think it turned out very well. Also on the beach I added a few modifications as you can see with the addition of some dark tan plates in like corner plates to give the wet sand feel with some um, different angled normal light tan plates over the top to give the different depth effect to the beach itself. Like I said back here though, this is going to be the rock. That's why I didn't work anything back here. This is going to be a part of the mountain like area I've worked on over here. And I think this mock is starting very, very well. I love the Kashyyyk battle in Revenge of the Sith. It is one of my favorite battle scenes from that film, actually. There's so, it's just a, such a cool atmosphere for a battle. You have the beach feel, with the jungle vibe, and with the Wookiees and the clones fighting side by side, I just love that scene. Even though it sadly ends with the terrible tragedy of Order 66, I think this scene, though, is gonna be such a fun challenge to capture in Lego 4. So in future videos, I will be discussing what minifigures I will be using in this mock, as well as if I'm going to be adding any vehicles or anything like that, as well as all my little details like the barricades that go on the beach, turrets, and mini builds like that from ATRTs and vehicles like that, that are not necessarily big tanks, but are still very important details to add to any good Kashyyyk mock. I'm so excited to be doing this Kashyyyk mock and I can't wait for the next episode as I add more amazing details to this fabulous Lego scene. And please be sure to comment below what your thoughts are so far on my Kashyyyk mock. If you want to check out more awesome Lego content right now, you can check it all out on the end screen now. See you guys later. Farewell.